Hi there. I have a new axe. <laughs> oh, I know. I, d I don't really need any more axes, but I bought a new axe. Hold on. Let's see. Ah, here it is. It's a Grinsfors and it's the Mini. It's tiny. <laughs> Let me show you. It's so tiny. And if you ask me, why did you buy that tiny axe? Well, first of all, I would say I have larger axes. So my idea is that I'm going to use this for carving and, uh, you know, you can hold like this and it's very light. So my thinking is if anything goes wrong, at least I won't chop off my fingers um, because it's, it's very light, lightweight. very small. I wanted to take this out into the woods today to see if, uh, you know, is it any good for anything else? And my response is, not really. The good thing is, you can put it in your pocket like this. You can't do that with many axes. Really sorry about the camera work today. That's better. So, would I recommend this axe? Um, I haven't for outdoors work. No, I wouldn't. I read somewhere that uh, the guy who designed this little axe, he did so because he wanted an axe that he could hit fish in the head with when he was out fishing. Um, so, that's a bit limited use, uh, I would say. Um, and as an outdoors axe, well, maybe if you, you know, for kids, maybe. Um, for someone with a smaller hand, maybe. To me, it's just not a good axe to me. Um, we'll see how it performs in the workshop. Hopefully it will uh, be a good choice for spoon carving and so on. I just wanted to show you this axe because it's very cute. <laughs> it's a cute axe. And as I said, I have larger axes, so don't worry. Um, I'll be okay. Grenzfors. Um, the craftsmanship, outstanding, of course. Um, so, yeah. I'll put some linseed oil on the on the wood here and it will be yeah it will live in the workshop I guess okay so that's just the first look of this cute little axe and uh, yeah okay I think that's all for now and uh, I'll see you in a few days have a wonderful day and cheers and Bye-bye.